Welcome back everybody. Today I have a brand new Amazon Cush Return liquidation palette. So on the palette, there was two of these very large boxes full of Amazon customer returns. But not everything will be customer returned. It's possible some could actually be warehouse overstock, surplus stuff that he couldn't sell. Some of it could just be uh, like warehouse damaged, where it got damaged at the Amazon warehouse and uh, they chose not to sell it, so they liquidated it. That's all possibilities. What in the world was that? We got stuff falling behind me. That's all possibilities. That's all possibilities. That's all possibilities. That's all possibilities. So anyway, it looks like something behind me is excited about this palette too. Maybe the ghost is back from like two years ago. Do you remember the video? We had the ghostly sounds in the video. Yeah, maybe it's back. But anyway, so this was considered kind of like a hodgepodge type of palette, which means it could be anything from home goods, electronics, housewares, toys, pets, bedding, bathroom, outdoor, tools, anything. And so, the total Amazon.com MSRP of all the items that were in this pallet, this is just one box, one huge box from the one pallet, okay? Total Amazon.com price, retail price of what they said, 1610 bucks. That is not what I paid though. I'm a liquidator. I pay a percentage of the MSRP. My cost, 300 $45, around 20%. So I actually had to pay shipping on this because some of my local liquidators don't have these available at this time. So I had to buy a pallet again from way out west, the west coast of the US. So shipping for this for two boxes on one pallet was 121 bucks. Eww. So that kind of stinks. So if I had to pay shipping, this would have been like 12%, maybe 13%, but I had to pay shipping. Big news though, big news. I've worked out a deal with a local liquidator. I'm getting seven whole pallets. Each pallet has six of the gigantic Amazon coffin boxes, what they call them in the business, super large boxes. It'll be a total of 42 Amazon coffin boxes on seven pallets. The pallets had MSRP, they said roughly about $7,000 a pallet. So I'm actually picking those up this Friday. So that should be that should be interesting, going through all that stuff. And that's gonna be another super exciting, you know, lengthy series. So the journey will be starting here within the next week or so, once uh, we start filming and get like the production going on these brand new seven pallets I just purchased. Okay, super exciting, right? But just as an appetizer while we wait for my pickup day, which is this Friday, we got some a little bit smaller. So this is one out of two boxes that was on the pallet that I had to pay shipping for. But the seven pallets, I bought them locally. So I'm just going down there with the big U-Haul truck and picking up the seven skids. No shipping. Here we go. So box number one. Hopefully it's a good one. Ooh, okay. So I will not show a sneak peek this time. I know the last video, uh, what was it? Saturday? Or maybe it was Thursday's video of last week. A few people in the comment section were kind of all upset about me showing a preview. So this video, I won't do it. How's that sound? I won't even show a preview. We'll just start digging into the box, okay? So first on around top, we have a Sunbeam heating pad with Express Heat. These always sell extremely fast on eBay. They get listed, they get sold. And very, very, very few of these ever get returned because they don't work. They usually get returned because, or to Amazon because whatever reason, but I don't think there's ever been a, at least it's been a long time since there's been a heating pad that actually did not work. That still, yeah, it looks, that still looks uh, pretty nicely in there. So uh, 
This should be, you know, pretty good money. Probably, honestly, most of the pads, 25 bucks or so in that range. I'm going to leave down below, right around in this area here, a potential selling total. That's not a set in stone kind of potential, or like set in stone total. It's a estimation like this. I estimated 25 bucks. We might sell for 20, we might sell for 25, we might sell for 30. Or if it sells new for 40, we'll sell for, you know, 32 50. But yeah, a lot of these items will be for sale in our eBay store. Direct link down below to the eBay store to check some of these items out. And some items will be sold locally. Either way, online or locally. Next, we have a wall uh, Chrome Pro. Like these actually have a little bit more value, the Chrome Pros with the men electric shavers let me actually grab my handy dandy iphone whatever you are iphone 10. i'm actually gonna people ask like what app do i use i'll look up prices honestly i'm just using the amazon app that's all i'm using amazon is pretty much like the price guy for reselling if you want to know a quick price honestly just look on amazon <laughs> you know that'll kind of gauge what things might sell for so this if it was new if it sells for 30. So obviously uh, this, this might be used and if it is, we actually have the proper cleaning and sterilizing product here to actually make this pretty much like, like new condition all over again, you know, used, used like new. Um, yeah, something like that. If it sells new for 30, probably 15 bucks, about half of that, about half. We have a first aid kit. This still has the original factory tie on it also. So this has not even been opened up yet by anybody. But first aid kit, 100 pieces for home, work, and travel. First aid kit, can't be much more like what, 10, 15 bucks I bet. But it's still like, it has the factory strap on it. So that has not been opened up yet. That would be a quick sale on, like that will be on eBay. I guarantee you that. It'll be on eBay. Then next we have a Pro Care. Is this for a wrist, maybe? Yep. It is for a wrist stabilizer. Yeah, some of this ProCare stuff, always make sure it is not prescription. That is not an RX. Some of this, uh, like, uh, this kind of stuff, if it is an RX, you cannot sell it. Legally, you can't sell it. I would recommend don't. But most of this stuff now is no longer RX, it seems like. Stuff like this, but 15 bucks on that. We have a body groomer. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in the package for now. This is like poly bag, original packaging, then and it's just it was poly bagged by Amazon during the liquidation process. Like I, I I've talked before in videos probably about 257 times. Amazon sometimes, a lot of the times, will poly bag stuff like this. One, it keeps everything together during the liquidation process, keeps everything clean, and mostly just it makes it easier for them to liquidate. So as they throw stuff around in boxes, it doesn't make a mess and go everywhere. It just, it's poly bagged. Let's see, Sonic Care. Oh, this is decent. Sonic Care 4100 Protected, what's it called? Protective Clean Sonic 4100. So I think we've sold this before a few times. Of course, it's not. It's just, it's retaped by Amazon. You'd be surprised, some of these like vibrating toothbrushes, or whatever you call them, um, or like the water picks, even though they're used, people will still buy them. Just clean them, make them look nice, make them look presentable, and they will always sell. Looks like this might have been used. It is not factory packaged or anything. Um, I don't want to go around touching too much stuff like this without gloves on for like hygienic purposes. Let's see, keep digging. Oh, this is a TENS unit, TENS 7000. Yeah, we always sell the TENS unit on Facebook Marketplace. I think the last one we got, uh, what was it? 25 for it, I think? Might've been 25. I think it was 25. The TENS 7000. I know my wife, uh, has a spreadsheet that she keeps of uh, like the marketplace sales. I should actually 
borrow that for times like this for this video where I can actually just look and say, oh, on Marketplace, we sold this for exactly, you know, $25 or, you know. I'll try to lock that away for the next video. What? Herbal extract. This is Ophiopogogen combination My Min Dong Tang. Um, um, if I read that correctly, my men dong tang. So what does this do? I don't know. The word on it's kind of a uh, risque. Kind of. Oh, you know what? It has a scannable... Let's look it up. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Get up my camera. Let's see if it'll tell me what this is. What this is used for with that name. Oh, it just went It just went to their website. To the sunten.com website. This might be... It's actually it's still factory sealed though, so that's a positive, right? But, uh... My Men Dong Tang Pills... Sounds interesting, right? <laughs> Alive men's. Oh, that's actually still factory seal. Men's ultra potency, complete multivitamin. Okay. <laughs> that smells good. What is that? Curl defined. Oh, it's. Texture, true textures, curus coils, and waves. Well, like this uh, hair styling gel or something. You can really smell it pretty strong. So it's probably been opened up and used, I bet, since you can, I can really smell it. But it actually smells kind of nice, though. <laughs> oh, we're keeping this for the business. We have a whole box of hand sanitizing wipes. 100 individually wrapped wipes. It's the box still factory seal too. That's handy. Definitely. How many times have, uh, like, let's say when we're out getting pallets or we're out thrifting, we get back to the car, we use hand sanitizer and stuff. But uh, something like this would be handy to carry around with you. Because how many times are you, let's say you're at the Goodwill bins, digging through all their bins, and you start feeling kind of nasty after a while. Yeah. I'm going to write that off for business use. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, hair clippers for men. We've we've seen this for this channel in the past. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not like factory factory package, so it's probably been it's probably been used. This is a cheaper clipper for men. It's not very expensive, like twenty bucks. I know clippers sell super fast on eBay. They do not last very long. Hot tools, professional. Curling iron. Yeah, my wife would know if this was good or not. I don't know if that's good. I don't, I don't know if that's a good brand or not. The bar actually, the barcode's not totally covered up. I can actually, once again, use the Amazon app. Just look it up quickly. On Amazon, that's not bad. Amazon, it sells for 60 bucks on Amazon. Well, that is not bad right there. Even if things used. It'll be at least half of that. At least half. Pulse oximeter. Fingertip. Factory seal, the security seal is still attached to it. So, a pulse thing for your finger. That could be some halfway decent, maybe. What are you? Slice. Oh, these are ceramic, like, replacement blades. Because I know I actually have a, a knife that I use sometimes for, let's say, if I buy some kind of a collectible packaging, I want to be very, very careful whenever I open it up. I actually have like a ceramic blade right here. It cuts pretty well, though. It does cut. It's not sharp. It's not sharp, but it cuts. And it's, you know, for... You might be able to see it, probably not. But yeah, these are ceramic blades, and uh, you can't cut yourself on them. But they cut. <laughs> Make any sense? Kind of strange, right? They're not sharp, but they cut. 
Matrix Biolace Conditioning Balm for dry hair. That's super exciting. Smart Infrared Thermometer. You know what? We've gotten, I don't know how many of these out of pallets over the past 18 months, 12, 18 months. Most all these, any kind of brand of this, they don't work. There's like, I don't think we've had one that's actually functioned properly so far. Every single one that we get, a digital thermometer, it'll usually read you way too high or way too low. So I don't know if these are just made very cheaply or what, but seems like all the returns, they never ever work. Oh, that's nice. They left us their, uh, their trash in the box from the shipping label. That's nice of them. Let's see, we have Tinted Mineral Moisturizer. Ooh, there's some brown possible poopage on that. So I'm just gonna put that right back into the box. Possible brown poopage. Nasty. Okay. We have two things of toothpaste. If the toothpaste is not in like a factory sealed box, we won't use it, we won't sell because who knows? Nobody wants to use somebody else's like stranger's toothpaste. At least I would hope not. Probe cover, ooh. <laughs> probe covers. Keep that probe nice and safe and clean with these covers. I'm good on probes, honestly. I'm good, I'm good. Let's see, oh, this is the South Spall Portable. My wife uses one. Of, well, I think it's a different brand, but it makes it have that white noise when we're trying to sleep. I saw these like 15 bucks. I think it is. Maybe as high as 20. It's been a while. A cervical, oh, cervical collar. Probably, honestly, the person probably bought it and it probably didn't fit them, I bet. It's a size extra small. Yeah, it probably didn't fit them. This is probably, we could sell this uh, pretty much. We'll have to, of course, check it a little bit closer, but. These can't sell for a whole lot, you know, but it's not, you know, at least it's not like nasty or anything. Got a few things left. Next, we have a Mighty Bliss heating pad. Another heating pad. This package on this one's a little bit more damaged than the first heating pad. Of course, all heating pads, we always try them out and make sure they work okay. But this is kind of like an off brand, but it still probably sell for at least 20 bucks. Let's see, next we have, oh, we have a Chi. Spin and curl right there. That was just a home run item right there. A chi spinning curl. These chis can be expensive. I think my wife has a chi, a chi uh, curling iron, maybe. This is a chi spin and curl. We gotta look this thing up. This might be kind of a pretty good price. Okay, looking on Amazon, this is actually an Amazon best seller. It sells, doesn't matter if it's, uh, they have black, they have red, actually it's black and red. 99, 99, 100 bucks new. And on Amazon, they're selling it used for 73. So as long as, it actually doesn't even look, I don't see any like usage on it. It still actually still has the, uh, the plastic film on the actual, like the, the reader part of it, it has the numbers and the temperatures and stuff. The film stones. This actually might just be an open box item. Hopefully it is, but it looks like upwards of possibly about 70 bucks used. We'll sell that on eBay. Max Fresh Wisp Mini. What is this? Oh, it's travel toothbrushes. What do you sell for? Each pack has 24 per pack. There's four packages. This is kind of like a kind of like a case of travel tooth toothbrushes, brand new. These sell for a pack of one. Sells on Amazon for 4.22. So four of them, 16 bucks. Probably can sell them for probably like on eBay, 10 bucks plus shipping. Probably or, or you know 15, 16 dollars shipped for this small case. It's not big money, but this item is very very small. Will be very easy to ship. Probably bag this box. Probably 15, 16 bucks ship. Clear probably about 10 bucks on that. Easy money. Last item in the box number one, we have 
Percussion Action Handheld Massager. I freaking love these things. I have one that I use uh, on my neck and my back. And it's this, this is a different brand though, but it's pretty much, you know, it's the same thing. These things are freaking awesome. They, they really do make any kind of aches and pains feel a little bit better. So that's a good item. It's probably a good 25, 30 bucks again. There's, so all in all, in this box, there was probably a dozen items, like between like 20 and 30 bucks, which that's fantastic. If you get like in just one out of two boxes, you know, 10 things that sell for 20, 30 bucks a piece, you'll start racking your money up pretty quickly. So this is just the first box. We have one more of these boxes that you'll see on Thursday. And I'm looking forward to see what's in that one. This one, actually, this, this is a pretty good box. There was no PlayStation 4s or expensive cameras or any cool Lego toys. But this was this is good selling product. And as a pout flipper, as a reseller, this is good product to make money on. So I'm super happy with this purchase. One box left. How much profit is potentially going to be made? Let's find out. See you in a couple days.